Before we begin, remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this with anyone who you think needs to hear this message. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can become a member, and you will get access to weekly Q&As and the exclusive CoffeeCast podcast, where we'll answer those questions. Now that we've had that out of the way, let's begin. Hello. The audiobook is done. It is done. It has been finished. It has been completed. Cappy has it. Cappy wanted me to make some small little changes in the end, which have been made. It is now out of my hands, into his. And I feel relieved about it. It is just, oh, finally, yes. We can relax a bit. As people might know, who are in my monthly consultation course, by the way, I've got two spots left. So if you're interested in that, you can uh, get in there here. What is it? It is personal training by me. You get access to a Discord server with all the other participants, me, daily access, etc. Weekly check-ins, um, form checks as much as you like, diet plan, training schedule, and a monthly group consultation. But as I discussed in there, luckily last week I had a deload week, which I turned into a complete week off, where it was like, oh no, I just... I don't even, even want to perform the exercises on low intensity or lower reps or less sets, whatever. I just want to focus on that narrating, which I did, and it is done. Sa uh, Sunday evening, my Sunday evening, the last little things were applied. My, my Monday morning, everything was sent over again. And it's in his hands now. Thank God. Huh. From what I understood, Amazon is only giving us guff about the files themselves. <laughs> General Marling, good to see you. Captain Kapow is here as well. As well, John Watts is here. Good to see you guys. But okay. About something about the files, whatever, Cappy, the, the bit, something. But apparently Cappy can do that himself so out of my hands out of my hands so apparently within the within a couple of weeks it will be out how long is the book in hours i have no idea let me check let me check that real quick uh -huh. I believe I have it here. It's not even that long. Four hours and 15 minutes. Four hours and 15 minutes. And that took me almost a month of narrating. Da, da, da. Uh, first. There we go. So four hours and fifteen minutes. Uh, took me two weeks. No, 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 no. That that's a lie. Took me almost a month. I started April. When did I start? Beginning of April. I started. Uh, and the worst thing about it was the days where we had the rainstorm and it went all on. It just went hard and the mic would catch everything that was going on. And I was like, holy shit, this is horrible. But oh well, it's done. And I just feel relieved. And... I'm going to get to training and controlling the weight in a bit. Don't worry, because it's part of this. I just want to share with you what I've been doing. Let me share that. And I was a bit distracted with a couple of things. Cappy just texted me, and I'm like, oh, shit, there's something wrong. <laughs> this is absolutely atrocious. It's like, <laughs> when it comes to that shit, like, normally I'm actually pretty 
at ease where it's like, eh, well, shit happens. Like a friend of mine, he borrowed the first rational mail book. And he's like, oh, shit, I left the book in Portugal. Not joking. He's the same guy I'm going to Portugal with. Uh, but you know what? I bought a new one for you. I just look at him and I was like, it's just a book. You know where it is. I'm going to get it back eventually. He just looks at me. He's like, it's just a book. And he thought that was so strange because I changed completely of who I used to be. I'm like, yeah, it's it's just a book. It can be bought again. It's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. But um, normally I'm kind of like that. But when it comes to my work, my uh, products I deliver, I get very involved where it's like is it to your liking is something wrong did i mess up is it what you want it to be kind of thing so every now and then right now when i get a text from cappy i'm like <gasps> heart attack like oh don't tell him this because now he's gonna text me on purpose where it's like i'm gonna i'm gonna mess with him <laughs> which he already did by the way which he already did but oh well hmm also, he has put up some excerpt experts, excerpts, samples of the audio narration on his uh, on his channel. The reception, and this is the fun part, because of course I'm gonna look through the comments. I wanna know, I wanna know what people think. And the majority of the comments don't think anything of my voice and narration you know what they are doing they are focusing on what is being narrated they are focusing on the things the ideas and the theory that are being presented like the part about friends they actually engage with the idea like hey yeah you're right when it comes to friends and this and that you used to have a lot and now you have less and blah 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 blah, blah. holy shit <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hello. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just noticing something. Oh. <laughs> I just got it. Never mind. <laughs> God damn. Oh, God damn, Clary. Clary never listens. I will... <sighs> this man, this man, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Clary. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm getting a bit distracted right now. I'm sorry about that. Uh, mm -hmm -hmm. There we go. This is all Cappy's fault, by the way. Blame him. Uh-huh. And of course, I forget my fucking password, which I always do. I always forget this one. Mm -hmm -hmm. No, this has to be it. Otherwise, fuck you. Ah, okay. Never mind. So, where was I? Apologies, I got a bit distracted. I tend to do that. Please hit the like button for my distracting things. But okay, people are engaging with the ideas and theory that's being presented. But there's one or two on every video, maybe three max, who are like, did Cappy get an automated robot? Who the hell is this guy narrating his book? I don't like it. And the funniest one was, he sounds like an Asian robot. I'm like, well, domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Well, <laughs> that's the weirdest insult I ever had. He sounds like an Asian robot. It's like, okay, sure. Uh, wouldn't have guessed that myself, but okay, if you say so. And there was one guy who said I sounded like Sandman. Hi, everyone. Sandman here. And today's video is brought to you by a donation from Black Cat. Black Cat says, hey there, Sandman, love your content and like your videos. 
<laughs> so overall, the comments are pretty good. But you know what? If you're watching this, let me know down below if you've heard the snippets of Cappy's book already. And let me know what you think about it, please. But now that that all of that is done and I have done what I wanted to do, I was able to get back into training, which is what all of this is about because I promote myself as a personal trainer, which I am, and I take a lot of pride of pride in because the guys in there kicking ass, losing weight, gaining strength, getting better form. So get your spot right here. John Watts, you don't. And not because I don't like you, because I don't, but <laughs> I do. But I had a I had a deal with you. I had a deal with you. But I want to know if you passed. I need to know if you passed. Because you get the price before the second price raids. That is your that is my gift to you. And yes, I'm gonna be open about that. But don't worry. This is something that he hit me up beforehand with. So he was kind of on time, but some adjustment needed to be arranged. No worries. But if you are interested in that, get in there. Um, but since my training is kind of high intensity, I did not feel like going back at that right away. And every now and then, I like experimenting with my training. I like experimenting with my training. Like, okay, what do I know of strength training that works as a whole? Well, compound over isolation is one. Um, progressive overload is two. Can I comply with it is three. And... Am I using exercise variation or even intensity variation? Yeah, I can do that. I can most definitely do that. So I wanted to try something with the performance of the reps where I perform them with even more control because I see a lot of guys and this is like the majority. They, they rush their lifting. It's like the end of the world. It's like most girls French kissing, which they can't do. Just saying most of you women, if you're listening, stop French kissing. Like it's the end of the fucking world. Like we're not dying. Take it slow. Just saying. Just saying, it's my it's my tip to you. All the ladies. But okay. Stop yanking at that bar like the world is going to end. Because it won't. Uh-huh. <laughs> So what I wanted to do now is take a page from Drew Bay's book. Now, I've said before, Drew Bay, great personal trainer. Every now and then I have the idea that he sees his method as the only method. That That is my only, I agree more with Drew than I disagree with him. Absolutely. It's more like, yeah, Drew, you're right, but it's not the only thing that works kind of thing. So this is absolutely no disrespect or beef or whatever. But this time I was kind of like, you know what? I have the strength goals I wanted. The 225 bench, the whatever deadlift, and the whatever squat. But I started caring less and less about how much weight I can actually move. What I care about now is that I'm still strong. Now, what is strong? That kind of depends on me. I don't want to be weak. Well, what is weak? In my humble opinion, that is weak is when you cannot do your daily routine without being tired or needing help or whatever. 
Now, needing help isn't necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, it just won't be able to absolutely do it alone. So, yeah. That, to me, is something I want to be able to keep doing. And as long as I can do that, I'm fine. So I know that Drew is a big proponent of time under tension, which I can absolutely do. But the thing is, his time under tension is like, holy shit, you think you have time under tension? No, 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 no. Drew Bay has time under tension. Drew Bay has time under tension, my friends. And it is an absolute absolute hurdle to perform it like that. Thank God this worked. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing that, but with, with a lot less weight. What I've been doing now is trying to perform the reps as slow as possible, which is working. Although I can perform them with as much weight as I used to be able to. So bench, I had 135 on there, but my reps took, well, 10 seconds, something like that, which is pretty much killer. Try and do, try doing that. Just take 60% mm, of your weight, of the weight of your one rep max. Take that. And perform it as slow as possible. Just perform it as slow as possible you will find out that it is just absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. You will feel your muscle contract a whole lot more. But not only that, you will have the idea that you, or you will actually experience you controlling the weight more than the weight controls you which is just perfect especially when you've been yanking away in the gym throwing the weight up and down now that is a problem a lot of lifters have and i do believe that Drew might be performing them a bit too slow for my taste, but performing the reps that slow does give you a whole different perspective on lifting. It will make you able to contract the muscle way better. Not saying uh, differently, no, way better. Just way better because you're performing it so slow. You actually feel those lats being engaged during the bench press. At a certain point, you feel those triceps burn and go like, oh, shit, I don't know how many more I can do this. Now, normally, you would be able to do 135 times 20. I don't even know how much I got, but they weren't a lot. It wasn't a lot of reps. Absolutely not. The thing is... I was controlling the weight instead of the weight controlling me, which is what a lot of guys do, especially during bench and squat. It's like, oh, I got the weight, weight, whoop. Just let it drop, let gravity do its thing, and I'll push it back. No, 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 no. You control the speed of which it is going down. That is what you're doing. And you control the speed of which it's going up. Since it's not that heavy, you have way more control over it going up as well. But just try and put in like mm, 
five to 10 seconds per rep. That's what I'm doing now. For you guys in the monthly consultation group, not yet. You have already mastered, you are mastering the form more and more. And like I said, with most of you, don't do it too quickly. Good tempo. But for me right now, I'm doing that because I didn't want to get into the higher intensity right away. Um, and in all honesty, I feel great. I, I'm only doing one set. This is a one set till failure. So it is one set with about 60% of my one rep max, one rep max. And I do it till failure. But the beautiful thing is that when you do it to failure with so much control over the reps, you will fail far, far, far in far before your form is going to suffer. You will fail far before your form is going to suffer. So it will take that out as well. It is less injury risky to perform it like that. And that is what I've been doing this week. And it feels good. In all honesty, it just feels good. It just feels good. And that is kind of the message I want to give you today, where it's like, you know what? If you have the idea that the weight is controlling you, which should not be the case because intensity isn't the be-all, end-all. The be-all, end-all is that you keep lifting. Just slow it down. Leave your ego at the door, please. Leave your ego at the door. Reduce the intensity and reduce the speed by which you perform the reps. In the long run, this will have way more effect on your lifting. Now, Jack, what is your goal? My goal is to see, and some people might find me lazy on this one, but I've said this before that I am naturally pr pretty lazy. But what I want to do is find out what the absolute minimum is for me to do to maintain my physique because I'm actually pretty happy with my physique. Maybe a little bit body fat off the stomach, which you can't spot reduce fat. So it has to be as a whole, maybe a kilo, not even maybe, but just to see what I need to do to maintain my physique. That's what I'm into now. Like, can I do one set of said exercise two times per week till failure and still keep my physique? I'm going to um, do this for about I don't know. What is a good uh, measuring? It's a good measuring method. I'm just going to do this until I get the idea that I'm shrinking or something because th the shoulders took a long time to build up, which you can barely see. But I posted a shirtless selfie on uh, Instagram in the Instagram stories where you can actually see it. But as long as I can keep that physique, I will keep doing it like this. Oh. So that's my goal for now, the physical part. I just want to look good. That's all I kind of want. Like, don't you want to be stronger? I like I already am pretty strong for my frame, so I'm fine with that. And what I learned with kickboxing is it's body weight and technique. Most of it is body weight and technique. 
Plus, if you look good, people are going to guess you weigh, you can bench whatever anyway. So for me right now, it is just pure the aesthetics. Can I get the aesthetics? And now I'm going to look at the chat. One more week until I get my score. John, let me know. Solar reps seems to feel better for me. They do, don't they, Governor? They feel like you're actually in control. Alex Petit, you are truck driving agent in the field, who is also in the monthly consultation group, which is amazing, by the way. He's a truck driver, like nine times out of ten, he's on the road, and he's still doing it. If you do push-ups, try doing them slow, going down and coming back up. You will do less than going down with gravity and using your momentum to push you back up. That will make you stronger. Exactly. That's how I keep my chest big, by doing control push-up. Yep. And you got to you gotta have a pretty developed chest. That is very true. Send Cappy $5 super chat to troll Jack. God damn it. <laughs> John, I hate you. <laughs> For you, the price is now going up. It will double. I will double it for you. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? There we go. I have myself on full screen. I didn't know StreamYard could do that. Jack is beefing with Drew Bay. Absolutely not. Drew will school my ass. Where it's like, young man, are you sure about that? Uh, ah, Cal Marlin, I have now spent two nights in the SUV trying to get used to it. It's really not that bad at all. Worst part is the car is going by, but I can adjust. Yeah, I think that is going to be the biggest part where you have to adjust to most of the sound going on. But you will get used to it. You will get used to it. <laughs> will get used to it um i've been looking at youtube videos from van life tubers most of them are chicks but at least they're pleasant to look at so i'll give them that i'll give them that but it's pretty interesting how they keep doing the things how they can keep it up or like indeed how they mm-hmm how they adjust everything or how they have built their van things like that i think it's pretty neat in all honesty but yeah um other than that would i do van life i don't know maybe i like the tiny houses more i like to have a base uh, I'd like to have a base of command. So there's a chick who does van life and always parks across the street from my workplace. Approach her! Open her! Do it! Do it, Cal! Let me know how it goes. Like, hey, I like your van. Why not? Why not just do it? Why wouldn't you do it? I think you should. But, like I said, I like a bit of a home base. Squat rack, things in it. Uh, we'll just have to see how Portugal goes. Because the guy I should have been going with hasn't responded in a while yet. So... Who knows what he's up to? He said second week of May, which is next week. And uh, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Because, oh, no, 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 no. We do not engage with that. We do not engage with that. No, 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 no. No, sir. No. Absolutely no. Do not engage. 
By the way, oh, if housing doesn't get under control soon, I'll be doing van life down by the river. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is the biggest motivator for van life right now. That is the biggest motivator for van life right now. The the rising rents, rising housing prices, they're going to increase the um the interest rate. I mean, crypto is getting a beating. The index funds are getting a beating. Stocks overall, everything is getting a beating. But hey, no more mean tweets. Am I right? No more mean tweets. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, uh. Inflation everywhere. Housing prices rising. Rent is rising. Everything. This is just... Pure stupidity. But hey, who are we? Who are we to say that? The Commonwealth. How dare we? How dare we? By the way, I have a new video coming up on Thursday. I think it's going to be Thursday. About falling off the bandwagon. Because now that I have time again... I can actually make videos again. And live streaming alone doesn't help the channel out that much. You need to have some videos as well. So I'm going to focus on that <clears throat> a bit more too. A bit more too. Because the subjects I have for the truth cast, usually I got done with that within 10 minutes. And then it's like, oh, 20 minutes of rambling. It's like, eh, you need to be a bit more professional about that. John Watts rip off the band-aid. If you start now, you stand a good chance of getting a good setup. Nice. Indeed. What is this? Oh, there we go. There we go. So, yeah, that's about it for the truth cast today. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I have two spots left for the monthly consultation group. If you're interested in that, hit me up on Discord at Jack Napier Knows. If you have any questions, I will love to answer them. And um, yeah, that's about it. My narrations, other than Cappy's narrations, the Gendernomics audiobook bundle, you can get that here, which is written by Carl from Black Label Logic, narrated by me, which is about economics and the sexual marketplace and how to uh, apply this knowledge, how to increase your own value. The Approach Her Like Chat and Text Game Mastery Approach to Date Toolkit. Two great audiobooks since uh, spring is here and approaching season is coming. Go learn how to. And the Fifty Shades of Game audiobooks. A trip into Troy's experience into the seedy nightlife of London. And that was about it. I hope this helps. <laughs> Tot scenes, Cal. Tot scenes. I'll see you soon. Uh, but if you have any questions, hit me up in the Discord at Jack Napier Knows. I'll, uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Absolutely. And if you're already in the monthly consultation group, why not put a comment down below and uh, let the people know how it's going. Other than that, hit the like, subscribe if you haven't, and... If you want to support the channel, click the join button, get access to the live chat and weekly Q&As. Apologies, by the way, that I was a bit off and on today. All of a sudden, I got messages from Cappy, things like that. And like I said, I want to get on that right away. So if I seemed a bit, there were moments where it's like, oh, need to do this real quick. Apologies. But yeah, that was it. Hi, Pajiko. Good to see you. I didn't know you were here. Good to see you, Jiko. Always nice seeing you. I'm going to hit you up on the Discord right now, by the way. Um, guys, I will see you uh, Friday night and look for the video on Thursday. Cheers. Tot scenes.